a suitcase for the past month and honestly I've only been home a couple of days at a time before needing to leave again but this time I'm glad to be back because I have a special package that has been waiting for me oh, oh no. oh, here we go again. It's my fault. Oh, oh no. oh, there you go again. It's your fault. And I can't oh, sweet home. To say the last few weeks have changed my life would be an understatement. How do you feel before you YouTube famous? This is crazy. On May 10th, 2023, I hit 10,000 subscribers on my channel. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> 10,000! And three weeks later, on May 28th, 2023, I posted episode three of the vlog yesterday, and I think I was at like, I'm gonna say I was at like 80, yeah, 80,000 subscribers. And I woke up and I was like almost at 100k. I'm not to feel this is insane. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, man. Guys, we hit 100k and it's still going. It looked like it happened fast, but there were a lot of things that I tried. And ultimately, a few things I had to learn on my own that finally made it work. Hitting 100K is a huge milestone for every aspiring YouTuber. It means you're doing something right. And for me, it was an indication that maybe I was finally starting to get closer to my dreams. Anna, are you busy? But it wasn't as easy as you think. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be one of two things. One, a cinematographer, but I didn't even really know what that was. All I knew was that they worked with movies. And second, was a YouTuber. There were countless bad videos that I made, and most of the time, I didn't even know what I was doing. After years of trying, it felt like I could never crack the code on how to have a YouTube channel. And what was once my childhood dream started to feel more and more unattainable. And then a couple of months ago, I had an idea, and that was to start a vlog. And everybody tells you not to start a vlog unless like you have an audience and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't listen to them. I was bored, unchallenged, and I needed something to push me creatively. And at some point, I literally was not even gonna upload that first episode of the vlog until a couple of my friends pushed me to do it. And that ended up being the one thing that actually, one, felt right, and two, made my channel pretty much take off. So in hindsight, don't listen to anybody. So that's the condensed version. But truthfully, sometimes it felt like an eternity. I took breaks, I tried different careers, I wanted to quit about 50 times, but somehow videos is all I ever wanted to do. You know, I think I made around 50 or more videos before I started making stuff that was decent. I also tried to make all sorts of videos. I tried to make things like the people who I looked up to on YouTube, but really all I was trying to do was find out what exactly was my thing. Nonetheless, each time I tried to choose a topic that I was passionate about and I tried to make the video as best as I could to the skill level I was at. I treated each video like it was gonna be the one, but still, 
It never was. But all it took was for one video to hit and for the right people to find it. So two things that happened when my videos finally started to click. When I stopped doing things that I didn't want to do and started doing things that I actually want to do, which seems very like you should be doing them. I don't know what the term is for that. Common sense. And second, I think the key thing that made my channel go from 10,000 subscribers to 100K subscribers in three weeks was that when that one video did hit the algorithm, when when the algorithm finally chose me, I already had a bunch of videos on my channel that I put in a lot of effort in, and it was there for people to discover after seeing that initial video. So there really is no such thing as overnight success, but there is preparation meets opportunity. Build your gold mine. They say chasing your dreams isn't linear. It's a long waiting period of work with no return, and then one day, it happens all at once. I didn't understand that until it happened. So, whoever said that, you were right. In the end, I just looked at what I naturally liked, made notes on what was missing, and then made it. Because the sooner you can be you, the sooner people looking for you will find you. And that is when it begins. guys we did it 100k in three weeks but more like seven years it's been a journey but at the same time i feel like i'm just scratching the surface on all the ideas that i want to bring to this channel whether you've found my videos recently or have been with me since the beginning i just want to say thank you so much for your support for subscribing for all the comments i see all the comments and i'm just excited for the future of this channel yeah let's get it as always Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.